everybody. I know it's been a minute since I've posted. <clears throat> I don't know. Christmas time, just super busy. Um, but I did want to unbox mine. It's, the box is so big, you can hardly see it. Um, it's Quilters Creative Touch from Grace Company. That's what they call Yeah, they call themselves Grace Company. And it is the robotics or automation for quilting. So I thought I would unbox it and show you what comes in the box. I did get the beginnings. Um, there's a pro version. I started out with the beginnings. As I understand, the only thing different will be the actual program. And that's on a USB stick, which I'll show you. So I'm just going to stop the video so that I can rearrange the box to a way to be able to show you stuff. Hold on. Okay, hi, I'm back. I think I have it, so I have to sit sideways, so forgive me. So the first thing on my is a big user manual, which I am, this is the installation instructions. I know installation is not gonna be fun. So it comes with, this is all installing. <laughs> This is for the pro. I wonder if that matters. Okay. Then the installing and how to register your product. And then you do need to have a tablet, a Windows based tablet. Um, so my daughter has a Surface Pro, something like that. She said I could use. This is just a product catalog. It's an awful nice catalog. I'd rather have a manual <laughs> that is like that. But okay. <clears throat> and this was quite a to-do. Because I ordered this. Oh, gosh, I ordered it a couple weeks, three, two or three weeks ago. And they sent me the wrong one. They sent me the pro version, which is the higher end version. So I did the honest thing and I called in and was like, look, you gave, you gave me the pro. Oh, because there's a big price difference. So we'll, we'll schedule, we'll have them schedule someone to pick it up. But okay, they wanted me to take it somewhere. I'm like, no, I'm not taking, that was your mistake. I ordered what I wanted. I was charged for what I wanted. You guys sent the wrong thing. So, you know, that's on you. You can have someone come pick it up. I'm not driving a 40 pound box somewhere. <clears throat> so, um, they scheduled the pickup and then I was like, well, I have the pro. I probably would love the pro. So maybe they'll give me a discount because I already have it. And they, you know, then they wouldn't have to come and pick it up and then ship the new one that would save them a shipping cost. I figured I would at least get the shipping cost. They wouldn't give me anything. And when I purchased this originally, I had gotten a deal because I always I get got it from Sewing Machines Plus. And the salespeople there are really good. So if you ever want to order something from them, call in. Don't just do it online because they can usually get you a better deal. And that's what happened. They gave me a better deal because I'm a repeat customer. They take good care of you. So I thought surely. They can give me at least the shipping so they don't have to ship it. So it's like a break even for them. It makes me happy and they wouldn't do it. And then it took forever and a day to hear back, not, not to hear back from them, but they had to reach out to Grace Company and Grace Company, I guess, change facility, whatever the story was. So then, you know, and then you're getting like a sour taste because you're just like, you know, I, I didn't, should I have even have called, you know, this is getting to be a real pain in the butt. So then they were supposed to pick it up and they told me FedEx would be coming and someone was home at all times and FedEx never came and we found the label in the yard. So I called him back. I'm like, well, he didn't come to the door and he, somehow the label got in the yard. So they have to reschedule it. So I technically have two sitting in my house right now. Sorry, the dog just hit the, hit the stand. Um, yeah, so... 
all this light. I'm kind of disappointed because, you know, I mean, really, it's in the whole scheme of life, it's not a big deal. But, you know, you buy, this is a big purchase. You buy it, you're all excited. I drag the box up to, to my room and I'm like, oh, this is the wrong one. So, you know, there's that. Okay. So, and this little box. And this is all that is different between the Pro and I got the beginnings. We have a beginnings version and the Pro. And the only thing is, is a difference in the program, which it makes it even more annoying. It didn't totally didn't have to ship it. So this is the Pro. <laughs> this was what was different. And it costs a lot more, the Pro. Um, it's a USB. That was the only difference. And they've had the program for like 10 years. So I'm really kind of annoyed that they wouldn't give me a discount because seriously, you've already paid for the development of the program. It's not going to cost you anything more to give me a different program. Whatever. We'll work around it. Okay. <clears throat> we have box A. Oh my. Oh boy. What the heck? I have no idea what that is. That kind of scares me. A short arm sewing board. Oh, it looks like you put touch stylus. Okay. Then a bunch of different cables. So probably cables to match your thing. Here's another circuit board. What the heck? <laughs> I'm not good with that stuff. There's some ties and things to organize your cords. A touchscreen cleaning cloth. Oh, isn't that nice? And then, so just a bunch of cords and these circuit boards. Great. Me and electricity don't get along. I mean, I know it won't be plugged in, but still. Okay, that's box A. Exciting. Box B. Like I'm doing an advent calendar. <laughs> I wish. Mm. Yeah, so you know, I'm a little annoyed. But in the scheme of things, no one is hurt. So that's how I try to look at things, as long as no one's hurt. There is a video out there, if anyone's going to get this and you're not aware, um, I think their YouTube is J. George, I think, and the woman does the, as I understand, the husband might too, but the husband has a very in-depth video on how to install everything. So I'm hoping, although they have, I only have the cutie frame and I have a domestic machine, so I'm sure that'll be different, but... <clears throat> You know, I'm sure I'll figure it out. And we have some little wrenches and hickey doos, Velcro strap, zip ties, and these little um, bolt things. That's in there. Okay. This is some metal piece. It's called. Um, quilting machine cable guide tray. This must be where you put your cables. I don't know if my sewing machine can screw that in, but you had to tell them when you order it, you have to tell them what sewing machine you have. It has to be compatible and um, what frame you use. But as I understand, keep everything so that if you change your frame, um, I think they give you everything you need for whatever frame. Okay. So, box. So, box C, box D, and box E. 
teeny tinies. I think these are the screws and stuff. Yes, they're the different screws. So I will leave them in the box and use them as I need them. I'm trying to debate whether I should start the installation tonight, the day after I worked. Because I look like a hot mess, don't I? Or do I wait till I'm fresh and do it? <clears throat> I should wait till I'm fresh and do it. This is just bolts and stuff. Bolts, I don't know. Screws. Everything's very nicely labeled, though, so that is good. I'm hoping the instructions follow those labels. This is box G. And this has oh, a tool set for everything you're going to be screwing in and tightening. And... So that's nice. They're nice little, little wrench. Allen wrench. Well, they're nice little tools. So, and I went with this particular um, robotics because it is compatible with a domestic machine, which I know I'm going to be so annoyed having to move my quilt so much, but. It's what I have, and that's what I'm going to use. Okay. G. Let's see. Oops, this is F. I should have done F first before G. And this is a power strip that I think you attach to the back of the... I know they did it on the back of their frame. So we'll have to see that maybe that's what that uh, <clears throat> cable thing was. And there's also box F2 in here, which I'm sure has little screws in it. Well, that's nice. They give you it's a, sh a surge protector, so that's good. I don't know. Maybe I should just bring a bottle of wine upstairs. <laughs> And not use a glass and just put it all together. That might be fun. And watch Wednesday. I have to rewatch it because what I've been watching. <sighs> I shouldn't get into stories. But I don't know if anybody else is watching the show Wednesday on Netflix. I'm a huge Adams Family fan. But I like like the 60s show. And I like the 90s movies. They were cute. Um, so I started to watch Wednesday. And it doesn't have Adams Family feel. So I'm going to try and rewatch it. With a different approach of like, okay, this isn't the Adams Family, it's just entertainment. And see how we like it. Then, this is heavy. Then we have this. Which is all kinds of scary. So this is the motor carriage thing that will sit on the um, on the carriage on the frame. So I have a cutie frame, so I can move the frame. I move the quilt. No, I move the machine, not the quilt. Um. So this is the guts of it all, and then it comes with some belts that you have to you know do it so that it can control moving the machine you know, instead of me having to manually move the machine this motor will move the machine for me based on the computer program that will have the pattern that i want so <clears throat> Because I do not, I do not, I thought maybe if I got the cutie frame, I would like to do the free motion quilting more. And I don't, I, just, I can't, I just can't do it. I mean, I can do the stippling, but I can't do anything fancier than that. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> Better get a glass of water. Oops. Um, where are we at? G? So we need an H. Oh, maybe this was H. And then we have I. <laughs> Box I. This is, I do know what this is. So this is the belt tensioner. So this will go on the end of the frame. Hopefully my table will work that it's sitting on. And that's how you tighten the belt. Um, so that's that. <clears throat> I, J. And then J, K. J, K. The little screw boxes. This is a little overwhelming. L. L is the frame belt bracket. So that's the bracket that you can put on the frame that will hold the belt so that it will move the machine for you. Yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be a couple days process. And I have a quilt I need to finish for Christmas. Box M, and that's just some more metal belt brackets. I do like how they have everything boxed and labeled. I think that's going to be extremely helpful. Cute little boxes too. They'd be really cute to like wrap up and put under a little tree. Some more belt brackets. Oh, it's the different... So they must give you the brackets for every frame that they sell. So that's good. So that if you ever change frames, um, you'll have all the hardware you need. Uh, you'll have all the things you need. Or maybe I have a hoop frame. It's a cutie. It's not cute and zone, but whatever. I don't know. I think we're on O. And this is more brackets and screws. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm not sure why my phone. Let me have a sip of wine. I think I'm gonna need this. Delicious wine. If you want some delicious wine delivered to you, my friend owns a winery called Elk Mountain Winery in Pennsylvania. Delicious. If you like sweet wine, she has all kinds of wines. And <clears throat> a lot of wine give me like heartburn. Her wines don't, especially the her white wines, love them. I'll put a link to her website in the description box p more belt brackets that's i think that's really nice because you know when you get all these pieces and you get them like in a bag when you're putting something together and then you're like i don't know if it's this one or that one i can't tell by the picture so q that is very helpful um These are more belt, belt. This is the continuum frame. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure why they give you. I guess it doesn't cost as much to get them, send you everything, than to create different boxes. Box R. This is the belt tensioner for, um, the other direction um, yeah like maybe the front and the back because it'll have to be able to move front and back you have a belt that goes front and back and you have a belt that goes side to side it's really quite remarkable if you think about it oh this is scary this is scary i'm 
Kate's gear box S little nuts and bolts box T this looks to be a bracket I believe this will go on the carriage um, I know in the video I saw they put they had the bracket that went right on their machine but my machine won't be able to do that so that's that I'm gonna keep it back in there And then there's a box of screws inside of this little box. <laughs> and then next year at Christmas, I'll have it together for you. <laughs> Tell you how it went. <laughs> oh, oh, well. Could be worse, right? Could be a lot worse in this life. All right. That's the next layer. Oh my gosh, and we have another layer of things. That's why this box was so heavy. Some of the little um, you. <laughs> this is the last layer. Ugh. Box you. Oh, this is the um, this is the mount for your tablet to go onto the handlebars. I'm assuming I'm gonna put this back in. V. Oh, here's the cutie frame stuff. So here's all the cutie. This is what I'll need for my brackets. So, box V. I'm going to write on the outside. So, I know this is cutie frame bracket. there. This is the, I think these are brackets for, um, I think this is for, not sure. I think like on the long arms that Grace has, they have like a little tiny monitor. And I think you have to put that in a bracket on the the monitor thing. I'm not sure. X. More brackets. Oh yeah, these are clean. These are brackets for the different quilting machines. So I won't need these. Think that's odd that they send you everything for every every um machine they've got in every frame that it's sending you what you need I guess but they couldn't let me keep the pro could they <laughs> that was asking too much okay I think I have a workaround all right Yep, this is a bracket for another QNEEP machine. Boy. 
Oh, Z. I think this is the last one. Yep, that's for the 20. Okay. I think that's everything. Yep. Whew. So that was all the boxes. I thought I would do an unboxing of this because I, when I was researching this, I never saw any. So I didn't know if it might help um, someone to see what you get and how it's packaged and the installation you know it's going to take some time but I don't think it's not doable like I wouldn't ever tell someone that, that you couldn't do it you just have to take your time read the instructions um, do it carefully and slowly and um, you know I would watch that I'll put a link down to that video too because just watching that helped me prepare to know what kind I was getting into. And just remember, a lot of these boxes won't pertain to you. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about are those two little circuit boards, but I believe that they just plug in. Like, there's nothing really you have to do to it other than plug them in. And <clears throat> it looks like they already have the belts threaded on this machine, which is... Nice because the biggest struggle, the video I watched them assembling it was getting the belts into the um, things and it looks like they're already threaded. So that's half the battle. Um, and you just have to take your time and screw things in and follow the instructions and then there's a certain process. They also walk through the process of downloading the program onto your tablet and how you connect everything and how you get it all to work. So I will link that down below because I'll be watching that as I put this together um, and I thought it was extremely helpful. So that's all I have. Um, hopefully I'll have more to show. I um, stopped getting the Cotton Cuts Mystery Quilt for fall. I just didn't like the fabric. I tried really hard to like it. Um, it's a batik, which I've worked with batiks a lot. And <clears throat> it has metallics in it, and it's very, very waxy. And I just felt like I was sewing a raincoat. I just didn't, I wasn't enjoying myself. And I have like half the months. Um, but, I mean, it's no one's fault, really. I just thought... I'm not going to enjoy this. So I stopped getting that. And then the spring, I have to finish. Um, my month nine got lost somewhere. So I had to have them resend that to me. So I have to put that together. And then I have to catch up on my designer mystery quilts from Fat Quarter Shop. I'm still doing that. I'm doing next year's. Uh, Lori Holt's plaid pines i guess was just the sew as you want it wasn't really a sew along so when i read her blog in detail it's like oh just sew as you want to go so i do want to do that and i'm still working on Corey yoder's sew along um trying to finish a quilt for my grandson before christmas so that's kind of what i've been working on and when i did that craft fair that really took a lot of my time so i got a lot of catching up to do but you know what i'm I'm not going to make myself sick over it. So um, I hope you guys have a great night. I hope you get to sew. And if I don't see you, I hope you have a Merry Christmas. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.